today I wanna walk you through creating content from start to finish. So we're gonna film a little morning in my life video together, we're gonna edit it together, and we're gonna export it together. What's up, friend? Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. If you're relatively new to creating content and you don't know where to start, or if you consider video editing to be the hardest thing in the world, I am so glad you found this video. I wanna take you through the entire process so you realize that it is so much easier than you might think. But before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to CapCut's YouTube channel. There are so many tutorials and product updates that you definitely are not gonna to wanna to miss. Okay, ready to start filming? Let's time travel back to yesterday and get into it. I wanted to film a little morning routine vlog that was more on the aesthetically pleasing side, so I made sure to film all of my clips on a tripod and from various angles. So you can see I filmed my first clip from the side to really establish the setting. I live in a loft and there are really big windows, so I really just wanted to showcase where we were first and foremost. For the next clip, I took the top phone holder piece off of my tripod and set it on the windowsill so I could get a close-up shot of my incense. And then I switched up the angle again as I made my tea. I always film clips from varying angles and varying heights to keep the video as dynamic as possible. If you film every clip straight on waist up, all of your clips are going to blend into each other and your video is going to seem really boring and static. I also think that authenticity should be at the forefront of your mind. Don't worry about doing everything perfect or trying to make your content look like another content creators. Just be yourself. For example, I clearly can't crack a yolk without spilling it everywhere. Am I gonna cut this out of my finished video? No. This is me, baby. I can't cook. It is what it is. My husband also really likes to interrupt me while I'm filming, and I'm not gonna cut this out of my video either. I just feel like it adds a little bit of silliness. I think so often we're so worried about not looking absolutely perfect online. We never wanna show our mistakes and our quirks, but showing that side of yourself, showing that you're a human, is gonna help your audience connect with you and really know you. At the same time, you also wanna be mindful of your edit as you're filming. Are you gonna be adding text? If so, you better make sure that you're leaving room above your head or near the bottom of the screen so that your text is legible. But you don't wanna go too far up or too low because if you do that, you'll get covered by the search bar or your caption or any of the buttons. Once you're happy with your footage, it's time to import it into CapCut and start editing. To import my footage, I just airdropped it to my laptop and dragged it right onto my timeline. The first thing that I wanna do after all of my footage is imported into the app is record my voiceover. I'm doing the voiceover over first because the length of my voiceover is gonna determine the length of my video. I don't wanna edit my clips until I have my voiceover because I would hate to edit my clips, do my voiceover, realize that my video is too short to get all my words out, and then have to extend everything. We're trying to save time here. So let's head into the voiceover editor. You can get here by clicking that tiny microphone right above the editing timeline. And when it comes to scripting out voiceovers, I always remember to tell a story. For the most part, unless you're doing something really complicated, your audience probably doesn't need a play-by-play -play of everything that's happening in your video. So my voiceover isn't gonna be saying things like, hi, welcome to my morning routine. The first thing that I do is open my blinds. Then I light my incense. Then I sit on the couch and journal. You can already see that with your own eyes and I really want my voiceover to add value. I decided to gear my voiceover towards the importance of establishing a good mindset at the start of every single day. I'm recording the voiceover with headphones and I'm also going to check the box next to echo reduction because I live in a loft. Concrete floors, high ceiling, it's very echoey in here. I'm also gonna mute my project so that my voiceover isn't competing with the sound of my blinds going up or the water boiling in my kettle. Now all that's left to do is press that record button and talk that talk. Now once my voiceover is on the timeline, I can start cutting my clips. I wanna start by finding the moments that I wanna include in my video and just cutting around them. I love a good keyboard shortcut, so I'm pressing the B key and this makes it so that every single time that I click on a clip in my timeline, it adds a split. After I split my clips, I can click on the footage that I don't want and then use the backspace key to delete it. I want every clip to be advancing the plot in some way. I want there to be constant movement. So for example, I'm not gonna keep the clip of me filling up my tea kettle with water. You can barely see me, and by virtue of me using a kettle, the viewer can probably assume that there's water in there. My advice is just to make sure you're only including the necessary parts of your video. Let's say you're filming a get ready with me video, and in one clip you're putting on foundation, and in the next clip you're putting on mascara, but you already have your smoky eye. You left out a pretty big piece of the tutorial. But if you're filming the get ready with me, and you're just cutting out the parts where you're reaching on the side for your brushes, 
your audience will probably be okay. So that's just something to keep in mind as you edit. Keep only what you need and also ensure that your video is gonna make sense to a random person who's just scrolling on TikTok who knows nothing about you or your life. Once I cut all of my clips, I'm left with a basic string out of my video and now it's time to add a little razzle dazzle. The first thing I wanna do is add my title text and I'm sure there's a perfect text template for this, so let's check it out. I'm heading to the text menu on the left and then going to the text template subcategory. And from there, I'm gonna move to the vlog section because I'm sure there's something in there that will make sense for this video. This one that says Sunday morning is pretty cute. Let's go ahead and drag it down to the timeline. I'm gonna place it right where I want it and then move to that dynamic menu on the right side and change Sunday morning to a morning in my life. Beautiful, okay, let's add music. I'm gonna head to the audio menu on the left and then go to the music section and go into the trending tab. I wanna pick out a relaxing bossa nova sort of song. So I'm just gonna search bossa nova using the bar at the top. Perfect, okay, let's go ahead and drag this one down to the timeline. I'm gonna adjust the music so that it ends when my clips do. To do this, I just move the playhead to the end of my footage, select the music and press W. Then I'm gonna lower the volume of my music by dragging down this line in the center. I don't want my music to be competing too much with my voiceover. You can also change the volume of your audio clips on the right side dynamic menu by messing around with the volume slider. And now I am ready to export. Let's go ahead and press the export button here on the top right. I usually keep my export settings the way they show up here. I feel like CapCut really knows what they're doing when it comes to your average content creator. So let's just go with that. The only thing I'm gonna change is the title. Now all there's left to do is press the export button and share this creation with the world. I hope you feel a lot more confident in filming, editing, and posting your content after watching this. It's very simple. All you have to do is be your authentic creative self and the rest is easy. If you have any filming or editing tips, please comment them down below. Let's help each other out. And of course, let us know what other videos you wanna see on the CapCut channel. And with that, I will catch you later. Bye. Ready to release your inner editing wizard? Click that subscribe button and let the magic continue.